Recently, I decided I wanted a more dirt-oriented dual sport than my G310 GS is. And so I started looking into the reviews. And the reviews were for the 250 market were really in favor of the WR250R. Um, it's a great bike. The kind of the only problem with it was price. Um, and I started looking and found that uh, there were some year-end specials out there, and so I got a great deal on this. So I bought it. So I've had a chance to ride it around a few loops on the back of the property, and you know what? I love it. I love it. Ergonomically, it is well designed. That the uh, levers are in perfect position for my little small hands. Uh, the brake pedal is also it's just right where it should be standing up on it is a dream it feels good you know the gas tank is narrow enough that my my, my knees grab it just right um it's great um so the uh the only problem i have actually is that i realized that you know i used to think i was i was kind of tall but at five foot four i guess i'm i'm really not so i kind of struggle getting on and off of it you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a challenge. I have to sl slide my, my butt to one side and hope I get it over there in the right spot. And, you know, I nearly dropped it a couple times. So, uh. anyway, so now I'm faced with what to do with this situation. So, I looked, uh, I did some Google research and discovered that I could buy the Yama Link for about 150 And I could buy the low seat for it for about 300 But unfortunately, I just bought a new bike. I don't have any money. I'm broke. So we need a better solution. So we've decided we're gonna shave the seat. So what do we need for this project? We need uh, a Sharpie to mark our seat and a screwdriver to take out the old staples from our seat. Um, and luckily for me, my husband, Muddy Utters, has the same bike, several years old. And a few years back, he changed out his seat. So we have his old seat foam. So we're going to mark the uh, seat foam. The other things we need, Muddy Edder suggested we drag out our old electric carving knife for this job. So voila, we have it. Um, hopefully I'll be able to clean this up enough in time for Thanksgiving. And we need some kind of a sander. Well, if we have a compressor or something, I suppose we could use this one. Or we could always use this little thing here with some coarse sandpaper. That might do the trick. Or if we're really feeling uh, like going into some overkill, how about this guy? I almost forgot we also need a staple gun. We're going to start by marking the seat. Um, actually, the first step will be to draw a safety line. So we want to stay away from the area that connects with the seat pan. And so we're going to draw that line. And then I'm going to draw a start, draw my cut line so that we're going to do that in a couple of passes so that we don't take too much at any one time because it's easier to uh, take more off than it is to put some back. We're going to do our cutting um, and then we'll sand it to the final shape. So we took the seat off of the bike and uh, now we're taking the staples off so that we can attach the, the foam that we're gonna cut to the seat pan. So the thing we have to be really careful with is to not gouge the heck out of the fabric while we're taking these staples out. So we gotta be a little careful. They're kind of short staples, so that's good. Starting out kind of uh, Shallow helps you to kind of get a, a good idea of how, how the uh, knife is working on it. So I think that's a good thing. Okay. Voila! So I have to make sure that I have a good transition from the front of the seat back to the back of the seat and I get enough back off, off of here so that I have the whole seat to work with when I'm riding so that I have the ability to do wheelies and things.
while doing this project, you really want to try the seed on a couple times and see kind of how it's looking. I think we've got probably an inch off, maybe a little more. And uh, I can touch better, still not flat-footed, but better than it was. So I think we're going to work with this a little more. Or the air sander seems to work better than the electric. So if you've got uh, air compressor available, you might want to do that. You also want to make sure you do this outside because, man, it's making a mess. So you got to be really careful um, and just kind of feather it on really gently like a kitten. Because if you don't, it takes big bites out. <laughs> Actually, we got it. I think it's looking good. Um, I think we're going to give it a try and see how this uh, this works. We had to be careful to get a kind of a good bevel and a contour here. So we started out and it came out where it was really wide across here, and that wasn't ideal either. So we contoured it more. Now we're going to give it a try. We're going to try this on and see how how we like it. In the position there, perfect. I think this is good actually because you know what yeah i can almost flat foot that's good all right looks good i think we're gonna put it back together and put it on so as you can see the sun kind of went down a little bit and this has turned into kind of an all-day project um we uh found our staple gun but we couldn't find any staples so we had to to go out and go to lowe's and buy some staples and it's kind of interesting too because we had a choice we couldn't figure out why some staples were considerably less expensive than others and then we noticed because some of them were stainless steel and they were more expensive but we opted to buy the stainless steel because we don't want them to rust the way to do this is to start with the front and put in a couple of staples there and you want to try to match up your old staple holes so that you're getting about the right spot and then do the back so you do the front section, the back section, and then because the sun went down, it's a little cooler now, we brought out a blow dryer to kind of warm up the vinyl and stretch it well at the sides. Get the whole thing out. Very much. People must sell. Almost sounds like there's two of them going in. So here it is on the bike, all attached, done, finished, complete. Now I'm going to take it for a test drive. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a video.